EIPs, in short, are the number of patients who have come into an emergency department. They've been seen, they've been assessed, they've been admitted, and now they're waiting for a bed elsewhere in the hospital. We're talking, of course, about a very significant reduction in the number of people who are waiting to go from an emergency room bed into an acute care bed elsewhere in the hospital, thus freeing up space for additional people coming into eMERGE who need that particular bed. When we have fewer people waiting in the emergency department for a hospital bed, there's a real impact on patient care and patient wait times. Having fewer emergency inpatients, the EIPs, gives us more and better space to care for our patients. One of the things that struck me as a frontline worker is that everyone in the system is actually now moving forward with trying to improve things from a quality of care perspective as well as a wait time and access perspective. And that includes physician staffs, staff and administrators. And we are really focused on improving that access for our patients. So overall in Calgary, at the three adult uh, acute care hospitals and at the one children's hospital, they've seen an overall EIP reduction of about 68% over the span of these last six months. Overall in Edmonton, the four adult acute care hospitals, plus the uh, children's hospital, the Stollery, plus the Sturgeon Hospital, which part of, is part of our count. Uh, those uh, uh, six hospitals have shown an EIP reduction of about 42% over the six months. And of course, at Red Deer Regional, uh, there's been an overall EIP reduction of almost 55% for that same period. So there's a lot of improvements that I'm happy to tell you about uh, that have uh, led to these um, dramatic uh, reductions, which is a very good sign for the protocols and a very good sign for what Alberta Health Services is doing uh, with others uh, to help address the situation. Emergency medicine is uh, a living, breathing organism. There are ebb and flows. There are going to be days when you're overwhelmed with a lot of sick patients and even your best laid systems kind of back up. And that's uh, probably true of the whole healthcare system. You know, uh, you can't just sort of measure it, you know, on one day compared to other days. It's, it's a trend. Certainly our trend indicators indicate that we are winning, that we are able to provide better timely care for our patients. We're starting to see some really positive progress and that is heartwarming indeed. So thank you all very much for the commitment and the dedication that you are showing on a daily basis to help out in emergency rooms and elsewhere so that we will ultimately keep on track to delivering the best performing publicly funded health system in Canada right here in Alberta.